Hi, welcome to Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan. You may have seen links inside of other people's documents, nice slick links that you can click on and go to a new place. And if you've been wondering, how do I make a link? Well, this video is going to help you learn how to do that, how to create a link within your documents, or how to make a hyperlink. So these were originally called hyperlinks. Now we usually just call them links. Hyper means it's you're very, very active. So a hyperlink jumps you all across the web onto a new spot. So it's a hyperlink, but we also just call it a link. How to make a hyperlink? Open the item you want to copy in a new tab. And then we're going to copy the URL from the Omni bar. Let's see how that looks. So I found the site where I want to send people to by using my link. So I've opened that up. I went onto YouTube and I selected a video. I'm making sure that the video is, is playing. It's the correct video. And then I'm going to copy the URL. That's what these little letters are called in the Omni bar. That's the real name for this where we kind of hunt and search around. So I highlight it and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to use my shortcut command or control C for copy. So I'm going to copy that link. Then I'm going to go back to my document so that I can paste it in. So I've copied the link. I keep the tab open just in case. And I'm coming back to my document where I want to type it in. So I go into the place where I want to paste this link. So here I am in my slide deck. I'm going to call it Great Games. So I want to place in a text box so that I can name the thing I want to link to. So I'm going to select the text box, place it in here, and then I'm going to decide what I want to call it. I'm going to call it zero or 10. Name of the game. Now if I want to make it a little bit larger, that's fine. I'm going to make it a little larger so that we can all see a lot better. So here I have the name that I want to make my link connect to. So I need to connect that link. I need to connect that link. So I'm going to highlight it. And then you might have seen some new tools popped up here. Let me show you again. Watch how this changes up here. I highlight it and then it gives me some other choices to do. This little thing, it kind of is like a little stapler. Um, that is the insert link tool. So I'm going to click on that. It gives me this drop down menu. You can see the text because I already highlighted it. It says 0 or 10. Now it says paste the link or search. I'm going to paste my link. I'm going to do command or control V, like the squirty part of a glue bottle that's going to go out there. And I'm going to paste my link there. If I didn't have my link, I could just go back and copy it. Now I want to apply it. Now you can see that my um, words have changed color and they're underlined, indicating that this is now a link. And when I go on top of it, I can see the link there. When I click on top, it shows me where it goes to. Let's review the steps that I used to make that hyperlink. So first I opened the item that I wanted to copy the address to the link in a new tab. So I opened up my YouTube and found what I wanted to find. Then I copied by using highlight. I copied the URL, that web address, from the Omni bar. Then I went to my destination document, the place where I want to make the link. And I opened a text box and I typed the name that I wanted my link to have. Next, I highlighted the words that I typed there, the words that I want to, my link to have. And I saw another menu pop up with the link symbol. I clicked on the link symbol to open up the link tools. I pasted the URL that I had copied onto the space provided with the link tool when it gave me that drop-down menu. 
And that's it. That's how I make a link inside my document. Thanks for watching Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan. I hope this helped you to learn how to create a link to put within your document. You can take your link to a website, to a YouTube video like I demonstrated here, to many, many other things. Using these hyperlinks really helps you put a lot of information in one little document. By naming your links, it helps make it clear for yourself and other people where are you going to go when you click on that link. Thanks for watching Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan.